what's going on friends welcome to the master vlogs so this video is just like a comparison of Gualba city before and after lockdown you know corona lockdown this huge stone building is the Gualba cathedral and it is one of the largest buildings in Gualba city and the last great stone cathedral to be built in europe one could easily identify the presence of people in the church by just looking at the number of cars parked outside the church and this was how Galway city center looked like last year. Actually, this video was shot last year when my wife did a YouTube vlog. There were scores of people in the streets. You can actually see the difference when you watch the after lockdown part of this video. The streets were full of people and vehicles and the shops were all open for business. And now, this was how Air Square looked like before the lockdown. Fully packed with tourists and local visitors. Please be reminded that all the video clips that you see in this before lockdown part of this video are all from last year. It was so nice and there were no restrictions, there were no social distancing and we were all free. And most importantly, there was no fear of catching any deadly disease. And now, this was how the Galway shopping center looked like before the lockdown. All shops were open and there were many kids playing in the toy cars in the shopping center, just like our Richie playing there. And Penny's was open and we really miss Penny's shopping. And last but not the least, this was Salt Hill Sea Promenade was looking like before the lockdown. There were lots of people there too. Let's look at the Galway after lockdown. Let us start with Galway Cathedral itself. Such a magnificent church, but it's so empty like an old deserted church. Just like any other church in the world, Galway Cathedral also is closed for the public. That's why you don't see any cars outside the church. Now we will see the city center after lockdown. This is the same street which we had seen in the before lockdown part of this video as a bustling street with lots of people. Most of the shops are closed social distance signboards everywhere this corner used to be so busy with lots of people going into the coffee shops and the pubs there but they are all closed now the streets are not so busy anymore as it used to be as most of us are staying at home as much as we can just to reduce the spread of this virus now, this is a statue of Liam Mellows, who was a hero of the War of Independence. There used to be lots of people beside him too. Now we will see Air Square. This is Brown Doorway. It is one of the most important historical monuments in Air Square. This is the first time I'm seeing it without being surrounded by any visitors. I think this is the most striking part of Air Square. This structure depicts Galway hookers, which is a type of fishing boat specific to Galway. There was a fountain also beneath it, but I didn't see that this time. And this is Air Square Public Park, which is also known as John F. Kennedy Memorial Park. The late US President John F. Kennedy had visited Galway City and made a speech at the square in 1963. And that's why this square is named after him. However, the square is still widely known as Air Square. Surely, Air Square is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Galway. Now we will take a look at Galway Shopping Centre. The essential shops are open. Strict measures are in place to restrict the movement of customers in the shops. One clothing store was open with a restriction of number of people entering at a time. 
and the warning signboards everywhere for the social distance. Some shops are offering even 50% off on hundreds of products. Now finally we will see how Salt Hill differs from the last time we saw it. We couldn't see many people there. Salt Hill never used to be like this empty. It used to be so full of people. It was so difficult to get a parking slot there. But now there are lots of parking spaces available now. Let's hope and pray that everything may return to normal soon. We all did so well in preventing the spread of this virus by staying at home. So I hope we will all be rewarded with good health for all the sacrifices we all have done. So let's hope that there is sunshine after the rain and there is always light after the darkness. So thank you so much for watching Namaste Vlogs. See you later soon. This is Shijo signing off from Namaste Vlogs.